We are just three weeks away from the deadline for asylum seekers to be out of the emergency shelter at the Portland Expo building. But for many, the future remains hazy. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Cindy Williams. There are a number of questions that remain around housing and what's next for these families. And now on top of that, rising tensions between city staff and Portland Mayor Ethan Strimling. New Senator Samantha York joins us with a breakdown of what's going on all around all of this right now, Sam. Yeah, Pat and Cindy, so this, this confusion all started after an email was sent alleging Mayor Strimling was giving false hope and information to families at the shelter. Well, we set out today looking for answers, but really just ended up returning with even more questions. I, I think there are more complicated from issues. City so, staff. Uh, I'm, I'm I understand that. Would you I like me to address I, I, the allegation? I'm, I'm happy I'm sorry, to. Did, did I, finish? I didn't finish my statement. Tensions flaring at Tuesday night's city council meeting as Portland Mayor Ethan Strimling is put in the hot seat. It's an email that we all received in which you were alleged to have told residents, people who were staying at the shelter, that they did not have to accept the housing that was being found by staff. Strimling denying those allegations last night. He's been spreading misinformation about the city policy and true. putting That's people at true. And this afternoon, he says his message has been consistent and he's never told families they didn't have to leave the city. Instead, he pointed the finger back at city councilors. I can't tell you how disappointed I am about uh, the division that the council sowed last night. This is about finding housing for folks. This is about helping people build stability in their lives. It's a stance that doesn't surprise city councilor Belinda Ray, saying this is the game Mayor Strimling plays when he's accused of doing wrong, pointing out city staff has never struggled with placing families in the past, and she would like to see politics stay out of the expo. Over the last four years, I think that Mayor Strimling has strained his credibility, and so I have a hard time taking his deflections uh, at face value. To add to this game of he said, she said, asylum seekers we spoke with today are still very much confused about who is supposed to be finding them housing, saying they were told it was up to them, and now worry about what's going to happen to them and their families come mid-August. <laughs> To find a house, housing, apartment, you need to know the language. But we don't know how to speak English, and you need knowledge. We don't have that now. Now, I spoke with at least a half dozen families. Only one of them said that they had heard of someone actually denying housing. They say they heard it was because she would have been living with five other families in one home, and it wouldn't have been a good fit. So where does this issue stand now? That's the big question. The Finance Committee is actually taking up that question of how the money in the Community Support Fund will be used tomorrow night. But again, this is a big issue. It's confusing, it's confusing, and we're just simply, at this point, we're running out of time. All right, thank you, Sam.